group hug. Hi guys, and welcome back to the internet. Today we're gonna to talk about habits to form to keep your relationship healthy. Why don't you talk to me about the first habit? Are you referring to your phone? Yeah, I wrote, you have to write I wrote them a down. lot. Wow. Freshen up before you go to bed. What is not fun is getting into things and then someone having to be like, oh. no, that's never happened. No. No one, especially adults, should be worrying, you know, about their own body odor. Make a habit, you're ready. You are ready to go. Yeah. So when you're dating someone, is it just me? But you're constantly crushing everything. When I moved out of my first flat, after Rose and I've been dating, and also Rose has OCD. Seventeen tubes of toothpaste. Seventeen. Yeah, seriously, there's like eighteen. It was in the double figures, right? You know, in Hollywood, when someone has like a romantic rendezvous or even a one night stand, but it's like perfect. Yeah, they wake up with full makeup on and they look stunning. That doesn't happen. No, we all get so dog cave. We all. <laughs> It's a genuine thing. One time, she's gone, sorry Rosie, your breath. That's the reality of a relationship. People <laughs> fart, people <laughs> smell. I'm things. sorry Rosie, your breath. <laughs> it's a thing, right? It's always nice to feel confident in yourself. And why would you let yourself be stinky right. Ricky? I go to bed, right, and I wake up wet. I'm so greasy. Thank you. I farted on a first date, things happen. One day, I'm gonna witness you giving birth and you know, maybe some poopy will fall out. Rosie, just... that makes me want to die. Dr. to see all the time. Not to me. Pushes everything out. I'm gonna be one of those girls that's like, <sighs> always put a plug in it. Dirt. It'll come out. You have got a plug. I know. If you don't love and cherish your body, why should your partner? Does that make sense? No, it sounds problematic to me. Does it? Why? Uh, I don't know. Because never be problematic. I don't know. Slap yourself. No, I don't do that no more. Know your partner's love language. Each person has their own way of expressing love. Some touch. They need to be touched all the time. You haven't hugged me today. I feel very unloved. Touch me somewhere better. No. Give me some of your love language. I'm more needier for cuddles and kisses and roses. Daddy I feel, issues. Yeah, I didn't get enough of it in my childhood, mm. right? They might be doing nothing wrong, but I'm like, don't touch me. You know, like some mothers feed you loads of food. It's because they love you, right? I do know that. Like, I think you like me doing physical things like if I cleaned, you'd be like, thanks, Rosie. Because even though I'm just cleaning the bathroom, you take that as me caring for you. So know what's important to your partner love language. and do it. Yeah. Love language. You can take a quiz, talk about it. Legitimate advice. I thought we were going to make this video and like take the piss. That's your job, so I thought I'd just say some real things. Talk yeah. about everything. Everything, no boundaries, you shouldn't feel ashamed for your feelings. I love that. I have been known on my period to get really upset about that something that happened involving a pen in year five when I was a child. It when I was actually like nine years old. It's happened more than once. Every period, I'm like, can we talk about something? And Rose's like, sure, sure. <laughs> and I'm like, I know we've discussed this before, but I just love like to month. hear me. And Rose yeah. is like, sure, sure. And I'm like, when I was nine, they took my pen off me and made me write in pencil and told me to change my handwriting, and I was really upset about it. It's happened more than once. In year five. Really, really upset. upset. Really, really upset. upset. Really, really upset. upset. Really upset. Really, really upset. Rose has heard this story so many so times. So many times. Yeah. And the story remains the same. It I need to changes. be heard. Rosie, you just weren't you good weren't enough to it. be trusted with a pen. You had to have a pencil. Shame you haven't learned because your handwriting sucks. I know, because they made me write in pencil for ages. That's not the reason. They told me off of the way I joined up my letters, so now I can't join them up. Rosie, you write backwards and you do everything backwards. Because like I used to loop it and they told me it was wrong, so now I don't know how to do it, so I go backwards. Shh, you're so pretty. So the communication, right? Talk about everything. Talk about everything. No boundaries. So if you're like feeling upset about something, someone shouldn't be like, why are you, why are you upset about the pen when you were nine? Because I am. Have patience and time for your partner's feelings. Yeah. They just want to be heard yeah, most and of the really time. listen. Fortunately, there's no chance that you'll not be heard. I know. So that's really good. I don't really have a choice in the matter actually in this household, but that's actually working out for us. Have real empathy. I'm learning about empathy because I'm going back to school to learn how to be a therapist. And I've got a greasy hand, I'm sorry. Someone says like, I've got a cold. Empathy is not going, well at least you don't have the flu. That's not what you not, wanna hear. You're not like, well, it's like, yes, we all know life could be worse. Life could always be worse. Yeah, for everyone, okay? literally, it could always be worse. But that's not what I wanna hear right now. No. I want you, you to want give to me a bit of time, I wanna be heard, right. and I want my daddy to stay around. You can't control people. It's not the Sims. No, but it's difficult because you've come to me with problems, right? And you've said, I think right. I'm gonna do this. And I've been like, hmm. I don't know if that's the right thing for you. I think you 
should discuss everything because we're a partnership, right? A team. You can't go and make decisions without me. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, if you feel very strongly to do something, I'm not going to stand in your way. I think it's good to be constructive, but ultimately, let them have step their choice. Step back and let them have their choice. You find it hard to. What? What is this criticism? No. Always be open to criticism. <laughs> Normally, it's coming from a good thing. With OCD, don't you feel like you try and control everything? You're labeling me now. Don't label your partner because they have many facets to their personality. Go for them. Say sorry and mean it. I know if you don't mean it. But I'm not saying that I always think I'm right. It's not, not about winning or losing. If you have a fight, you shouldn't want to win, you should want to resolve. I'm a natural born winner, so for me it's quite difficult not to win, but I also think that it's very important to hear your partner and come to a resolution rather right. than you've lost, I've won. The resolution would be that I have won. Recently we had an argument and I was in the wrong. Really? Yeah. You were upset about the pen. Now I can't write properly. Can I kiss it? Yeah. I mean, it's still greasy. We had this argument, it was all my fault. And I said, sorry. And then you were so sweet, you were like, well, I'm sorry too. And I was like, no, no, I'm taking responsibility for this. I was like, it was all my fault. I'm sorry. You're like, no, well, I, I'm no, sure I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sure I've done things wrong in the past. This is the thing. When you actually say sorry, if you really think that you're sorry, then I feel bad yeah. that you're saying sorry. So I'm like, do you know what? It wasn't even, a, it wasn't even an no, issue. Nothing. It was nothing, actually. This is a difficult one. Okay. Don't hold a grudge. Don't keep score. Rosie, these are really good. Do you think of these yourself? I hold grudges. You do. We, hold a grudge. we both hold grudges. Let me tell you something that really annoys me, me about you, and this is what you guys shouldn't do. <gasps> if I'm genuinely sorry and in the wrong, and I come up and apologise to Rosie, she doesn't make it easy for me. I even don't. though it's, it's what true. she wants to happen. It's true. Rose goes, I'm sorry. I'm like, well, it should be. Well, me, it was a horrible thing. Yeah. And then we'll rehash the argument, and I'm like, hmm. why did I fucking bother? <laughs> you do. You do do that. And it really grinds my gears. But we still in well. <laughs> No! If there's an issue from the past, you've got to resolve it and move forward or break up. Yeah. Because you can't hit carry it with you. You can't. And if someone cheats and you decide to forgive, you have to forgive. Actually, yeah. I can't really comment on cheating because I think anyone that cheats deserves to die. <laughs> There's no two sides to that yeah, story. But if you do forgive, the point is, is you have to forgive. Don't ever forgive a cheater. What the hell? Once a cheater, always a cheater. Right, Rosie? I mean, it's pretty problematic saying all well, cheaters should die, babe. We've got <laughs> straight girls, yeah. cheaters. Yeah. Like, literally, we're just blasting through. Yeah, these... hate them all. I just said thank. <laughs> I did say thank. 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 Gratitude. Gratitude. Are you grateful for me? I'm well? so grateful. Yeah, I'm grateful it's you. Very grateful. Grateful for the kudos. I am very grateful that you are so pure, and I think that you need oh. to show your partner how grateful you are for them. If they try, or if you think they're making even the smallest of efforts, you go over to them and you give them an orgasm. Are you grateful for me and everything I do? I oh, yes, but did you know it's Valentine's Day cuts and Bobby? <gasps> Bobby saw something I was looking at on Amazon. Rosie. And she came up to me and said, I saw you look so oh. By their love, essentially. Gratitude. Gratitude. Tell me something you're grateful of. Your fresh breath. And your baby voice. I do love that. You're grateful. I mean, some people might find that really annoying. I think other people will be wise of it. I understood every word there. How oh, troubling is that? Support unwavering. Unwavering support. Be unwaveringly supportive. Okay, there's lots of ways to say this one, isn't there? there is. um, You've always supported me. Do you think so? You've been literally with the moment we started dating. It was a quality that I, I do stand for equality. It was a quality that was one of the things I fell in love with you and I think really? it's so good to have in a relationship one person who's always got your back. Sometimes even if you're wrong, you could still be supportive. Like in The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, when Lisa Renner was talking to, who's the Eileen one with Eileen Davidson. Eileen, and Eileen Davidson was like, did you say those things? And Lisa Renner was like, no, I don't think so. No. And then Eileen went, went, are you sure you didn't say those things? And she went, Lisa, she went, she went, yeah, I said, I did, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said it, I did. And, and Eileen was like, yeah, okay. Right. Sometimes you mess up in life. Now, I'm not saying support wrong decisions. Be right supportive in them writing their wrongs. You're a team. You are You've a got team. each other back. Got each other back. Support and wavering. You've got each other back. Thank. I will always have your back for whatever situation you're in. Even if you murdered a cheater. <laughs> whatever you did. Maybe. Within reason. Maybe. We're a team. We'll always support we'll each see. other. Well, we'll see. And the last point I wanted to say is. Yes. We've changed habits for each other. Right. But we have never changed ourselves and who we are. If someone wants to change you. You yeah. as a person. No, no, you can't be changed. Can't ever change you. But habits are like just routines yeah. that we do that can be modified and tweaked if you're both happy to change it. Like Rosie's like, you don't often say sorry, and now I say sorry all the time. That's not changing who I am as a person. And Rosie was like, you can't take criticism, and now I take it all the time. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's probably it from us. I think those are actually really good pieces of advice.
advice to take forward. I'm quite surprised. I thought this video was going to be an ultimate parody offering, in fact, zero constructive advice. No, we actually um, know our shit. God, you're, you're right. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave some little sort of anecdotes in the comment section below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this whole thing. Let Rose know what you're doing for your loved one on Valentine's Day. Give us some tips and quicks. Tips and tips. Mwah. Bye. Bye. Bye.